Right, in this uh, video demonstration, I'll be showing you how to model a fedora hat in Maya. Okay, using just a basic cylinder as a base to start off. Okay, so let's just begin. We'll start off with a new scene. Okay, so make sure you set your project properly so that you are saving it to the correct folders. So we will begin by creating a cylinder. So if you're not sure which are the shortcut keys that I'm pressing, please refer to these two boxes here. So holding down the shift right mouse click and then just uh, slide over the cylinder. Now for the cylinder, we want to create an eight-sided cylinder. So go over to your channel box okay, by clicking over here and then click on the inputs polygon cylinder. Go over to the subdivision axis, click on the words highlighted here, move your cursor over here, middle mouse click and drag to the left until it goes down to 8 or you can manually key in number 8 here if you want. Next we want to shift the uh, pivot point down to the base of this uh, cylinder. Okay so to do that you must press D. Okay but before we do that we have to go to the move tool first with the cylinder selected. Press W then press D. Then go over to move your cursor until you see the word align to the single vertex there and click on it. Alright, you notice that the orientation of the pivot is also not following the sky. So we're going to fix that by holding down to J. Holding down to J and then just slide this up until the Y axis is pointing up. Then you can press D to exit from the pivot editing mode. Okay, so next I want to show you the snapping shortcut key. If you hold down to X, Okay, you'll be in the grid snap. So uh, go over to move and holding down to X, you notice that the move manipulator changes into this circular shape. Then just move it up and snap it until the cylinder is now lined up at the origin. Okay, with the cylinder still selected, now we're going to go into component mode and then just widen the base of this cylinder. So to do that, just right mouse click and go over to vertex mode. I want to show you a tool known as selection conversion. So we want to select the bottom faces. Rather than clicking on each individual faces one by one, you can click on a single vertex, holding down the control key, right mouse click, go to two faces, two faces and release. Then all the faces are now selected. Then you can go ahead and delete them. Okay, so now we want to increase the scale or the bottom of the uh, faces so that they have a tapered mode. So first I need to switch off my symmetry. We will need that later on. Okay. So go over to edge mode, right mouse click and hold, go over to edge, double click with the edges selected, then press R to go to scale and then scale it up until it has this tapered shape. Okay. So with the edges still selected, okay, hold down to shift and right mouse click and go to extrude edge. Right, for anything that is involving extrusion, you always want to use the blue arrow key to extrude. So I'm going to pull the blue arrow and then just pull it out until we have the hat's rim. So we can exit out from the extrusion by just clicking away. And we can still uh, select the rim by double click to select the edge. Then press W and then move it down until it is flattened. Okay. So with it flattened, uh, we want to insert one edge loop that runs across this uh, extruded faces. So to do that, we're going to use the multi-cut tool. Holding down the shift, right mouse click, and then choose multi-cut and release. Holding down to your uh, middle mouse button, uh, control, and then followed by middle mouse button, it will just insert a mid, mid uh, line edge loop that runs between uh, this edge here. Okay, so now we have uh, enough detail to start to build a base shape. Okay, we want to insert a couple more edge loops here. So holding down your control key and then left mouse click and maybe one more here and left mouse click. Okay, one more thing is we want to cut, all right, we want to cut a uh, mid, mid line between this edge and this center vertex so that we have enough vertices or detail, right, to sculpt our head later on. So holding down to the uh, control key and then uh, start by cutting in the center. You can actually hold down to shift, sorry, uh, hold down to shift and then left mouse click, left mouse click, and left mouse click.
of click. When you hold down the shift, you're cutting at the 50% point of the edge. So you can finish the cut by pressing enter once you close the cut and then you have a nice midpoint cut of the top part of the hand. Press Q to go to selection mode and now we can start to sculpt our hat. So you can go over to press number 3 to go to subdivided mode and then you can see that this is the base shape that we can literally create any kind of hats we want. All right. So we can go to vertex mode, right mouse click to vertex mode and also we, at this point we want to turn on the symmetry object X as well. Okay, make sure that your your point of view is following the same exact orientation as mine. Okay, so uh, take note of the global axis orientation here. So make sure that your symmetry object X is turned on. So right now I'm going to select these vertices, this one here, this one here, then press W and then just pull them up. And with symmetry on, the other side will also move as well. Then select the front and then just push it down, this uh, vertex and then pull it down. And now we have our base shape. So you can refine it by just pulling this inwards a little bit, push this inwards using the non-uniform move tool of the manipulator or the gizmo. Or you can just click on the center here and then just change your view and then sculpt and move it along. Okay, so in uh, polygon modeling, right, we want to try to keep all the faces four-sided as much as you can. So uh, there are a couple of edges that we want to remove. So go with the edge mode. Then we want to remove this edge, holding down the shift to add on the, the selection, holding down the shift to add on. So we want to select the cross edge of these, uh, of the top part of the hat here. And then press this combination to remove. Uh, normally, if you want to remove edges, uh, especially long edge loops, uh, the command is control delete. So when I press control delete, you will dissolve away the edges. Okay, it seems that these two edges are not selected. So I'm going to do one more time, control delete. Okay, because my symmetry is on. All right, so now we have everything nice and four-sided. We can continue to sculpt the head. So we will start by pulling up the... Okay, I'll press W to go to move. Pulling up the front section here, and then maybe pull back the section here and so on. And I'm going to create the depression that goes in for most of the fedora heads so that uh, your hand can grip it. Then I'm going to select these center vertices, all right, and then just push them down. So we've got that depression. Okay, we can push this one down as well, and this one inward as well. Okay, so if you feel that you are lacking detail, you can also insert more edge loops. For example, you can insert another edge loops that run across here. Let's go back to level one, so you can see what it's like with before it's subdivided. Shift right mouse click, go to multi cut tool, holding down the control and left mouse click to add one edge loop. Also, this is a good opportunity for me to show you how to do a supporting edge loop. Now, if you go to subdivide, you notice that this edge here is very rounded. We want to create a very sharp corner around here, so we need to create two edge loops that are very close to one another. So by holding down the control and then if you slide down, now you notice that the uh, the edge, right, the preview edge is floating outwards because this is the actual geometry that we are working on. All right, so if I insert one edge loop that is very close to the edge here, like so, so if you see there are two edges, edge loops here now, if I go to subdivide, you can see that now I have a very harder and sharper corner. Okay, pressing Q, resuming the, uh, going back to vertex mode, I can continue to sculpt my hat. So press W, and then just push this in, and I can pull this out slightly. And I can pull this out a little bit. Now, if you feel that your hat is a little bit too tall, you can always grab a whole row of vertices and then adjust the height uh, to, to your desire. Okay, and then pull this out, put this wider a little bit. And you can see that our hat is coming along just fine. Okay, this area here, I want to select. You can also switch between different component modes uh, if you want. You can switch between uh, edges, faces, and uh, vertices to get the, get the shape that you want. Okay, let's just push this down a little bit more and I think this one looks pretty all right for me. Okay, I'm quite happy with this one. And maybe this vertex, I'm gonna push it down a little bit so that I get a nice uh, straight edge around here. 
okay i'm happy with this but you notice something weird about this hat in that it is uh, it doesn't have the ribbon so i'm going to show you how to create a ribbon right now so right mouse click go over to face mode now to select a face loop select one face here holding down the shift go to the adjacent face and double click and then your loop will be selected then we're going to use a function called uh, duplicate and then detach so what what happens is that this these group of faces will be selected and detached and a new object will be formed if you look at the outline over here and i click on this function with the selected loop you notice that now a new uh, new object of poly surface will be created and you see that this this is the transform node okay that shows that this loop right is actually derived from this original cylinder so you'll notice right now you will have two different objects the main object and the loop okay so now for the loop if i were to isolate the loop you will notice that it is okay just a ring of faces like that okay so the to isolate you can just go over here isolate or the shortcut key is control one so i'm going to go to select this loop of faces i want to give it some thickness so i can press control e or for me my favorite is still to shift right mouse click and extrude then pull along the blue arrow head and i should have a uh, thickness to this and if i press number three then i have my ribbon created now i'm going to get out of my isolate select and then I'm going to subdivide, or rather go over to object mode, select this one, go to subdivide this, and then you can see we have our ribbon. Okay, but now our hat doesn't have any thickness to it. I'm going to temporarily turn off my uh, symmetry, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select all the faces, and I'm going to give it some thickness. So shift right mouse click, extrude face. And I'm going to extrude it negatively so that it goes downwards. Now, when you extrude negatively, you create a what we call a negative face, and uh, everything turns black. So, if that happens to you, just need to select the entire object, go to mesh display, and then just hit reverse. Okay, so you should get back the gray hat. And now you notice the hat has some thickness to it. And in fact, if you press number four to go to wireframe mode, you'll notice that there's a nice thickness that runs around it. So of course you can still refine this hat further for example if you need supporting edge loop around the corner here if you go to level one i can show you to use a bevel bevel two you can uh, select this edge shift select this edge and then shift right mouse click and then bevel the edge to give it a supporting edge loop and then if you press number three you notice that the top part here is now much more defined now of course you can do to the bottom uh, edge as well now at this point you can keep the uh, ribbon separate or you can join them both together but while they're still separate right you can easily assign new materials to it so i'm going to assign a blend material okay so you notice that we added a lot of edits to it that's why you see a lot of these tabs here in the attributes editor so you want to go to the material straight away just right mouse click go to material attributes one more time and then you can see you are now in the materials editor go over to the color and then change it to a black ribbon now select the main hat right mouse click go and assign a favorite material go to blend go to color just click on it then maybe give it a uh, a gray color or you can give it a white color or even a yellow color all right so basically uh, your hat is almost done so let's do some cleanup on the outline so i'm going to select this uh, ribbon shift select the hat and then combine them together so you can use the modeling tools here with the list of the most commonly used tools and you can combine them here or you can go to edit mesh and combine or other or rather under mesh and then combine so it is the same function so now both of these meshes are not combined together uh, you notice that we still have all these transform nodes in the outliner that's the reason uh, the reason is because if you go to the channel box both of these items right still have a lot of edit history so you have to go over to the menu to delete away the history so uh, there are three buttons here that are conveniently placed for you so you can just click on this button to delete away the history so once the history is deleted you notice all these transform nodes right will disappear so it's a good opportunity to right now go and rename your hat double click on the name in the outliner and then type fedora hat then underscore zero one okay so you have your hat done 
Okay, so if for some reason you want to reorient uh, or change the uh, pivot point, you can use a freeze transformation, which is here, and then also center the pivot, which is here. Okay, so basically that's it, the hat is done. But let's say if you want to refine the hat further, and you realize that you don't have enough detail, of course you can manually add in uh, edge loops and all that. But if you want to edit this hat right now, you will have to use the soft selection. Because take note, if you go to vertex mode, I'll show you this. Uh, if you just select one of the vertices and start to move them, you notice that because of the thickness, there's a secondary vertex behind it. So right now you have to turn on soft selection mode by pressing B. So with soft selection mode on, you can uh, easily edit this. And go back to solid mode. Okay, so that uh, the bottom vertex is also selected. And also at the same time, if you want to edit both sides at the same time, please remember to turn on the symmetry and make sure you turn on the correct axis. All right, so that you can continue to edit your hat. Okay. All right, so um, usually if you take a look at your, your origi at your original hat, this is what it looks like. But if you need extra detail, uh, you can duplicate this, Shift D to duplicate, or Control D, and then you can use this function called uh, Smooth. Okay, so what Smooth does is that it actually adds additional uh, subdivisions to your hat. All right, so I'll, let me turn on the uh, wireframe unshaded, which is this button here. Okay, so you can see that uh, now it is starting to look like a hat without being uh, without pressing three to subdivide, but um, the negative part about this is that you have all these extra edge loops and if you want to edit right it becomes much harder so you have to turn on soft selection by pressing B so that you can edit this uh, with uh, the bunch of vertices selected at the same time okay so I uh, hope this video is uh, helpful and uh, you guys can give this a try